I'm Meg Staten. I am from the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. And today I will be talking about Triple, an example of successful open source distributed team development. A little bit of background on Triple. Uh, this is a, about a 10 year old software framework, really meant to help build genetic and genomic databases. Um, we have many community databases for model organisms, um, various crop plants, uh, different livestock. So it's, it's quite a common um, software use case. And the goals for developing Triple were to have shared code for all of these com common needs across these databases um, to help enforce standards, metadata, ontologies, um, standard formats, and to really increase data sharing and collaboration across these databases. Triple utilizes Drupal, which is a, a popular web content management system, and also Chato, which is a relational database schema meant for molecular biology data. Um, I'm also using a series of pictures of Legos here to talk about the architecture of Triple. So Triple has a core module that gives the basic functionality that most databases are gonna need, and that includes an API to um, talk to Chato, uh, job queues, um, and basic content types like organisms and sequences that almost all of these databases are going to need. However, Triple also can be extended in a modular manner. Anyone can write a module that, that helps make new additional functionality, such as talking to another software system. Um, example extension modules for that would be Blast or hooking up to JBrowse or adding another data type. So again, you can write a module that houses genotype data or phenotype data or phylogenetic trees. Uh, this has been quite a popular system. We have over 30 databases using Triple, uh, which this explosion in growth has been wonderful, but also means that we have a lot of invested groups who need to do collaborative development. Uh, we've had over 25 people at our last three or four code fests, so we really are becoming quite a large community. And our triple core repository on GitHub has over 25 contributors now. It became clear as our community grew that we really needed to have some shared governance. And the first part of this governance emerged as a project management committee. These three people are really our knights in shining armor who make sure that our triple core is wonderful. They keep it bug free. Um, anybody who sends in a pull request, they test it. They make sure that it makes sense for the whole community before merging it and really just ensure good practices, good documentation, and help answering issues. We then moved on to a second tier of governance, which is the steering committee. Um, this is principal invest investigators, database managers, also some coders, but people who really wanna think about leading Triple into the future. What are new data types we need to be considering? Um, how do we advocate for funding across the entire group? How do we coordinate among groups? Um, so this two-tiered governance structure has really worked well for us, and one of the core tenets that we all really felt was important was that the Triple Steering Committee really only makes recommendations. We get together and we, we kind of come up with a vision, but the Project Management Committee are, is actually has the deciding power, and we feel like that's the best interest in the long-term viability of Triple to make sure that the people who are actually architecting the software and writing the code have the final say and, and how it looks downstream. However, you'll notice that neither of those committees really deals directly with extension modules. These are completely unregulated by design. Databases often need to do agile development um, and get new things integrated into their database quickly, and they can do that through extension modules. However, it is really useful if these extension modules can be shared across different databases. For that, we have developed a badge system so if your extension module is on GitHub, you can be assigned a bronze, silver, or gold badge. And this relates back to how well you're doing at meeting um, common standards of coding, documentation, and naming, if you're interacting with core following the best practices, and at the gold level, if you're doing things like unit testing and continuous integration. So these badges are just a way to signal to the community how friendly your module is going to be for other people to utilize it and how committed you are to being a, a good player in the community. Uh, all of this is really well documented in our Read the Docs. So if you're interested in how we manage our community, I would encourage you to check it out. And with that, I would like to thank all of the wonderful organizations that have given us funding and that employ all of us. Thank you.